Hello everyone, we're going to be going over our math forms again. So real quick, we've got standard and word form, which is what we did yesterday. Here's standard, it's just when we use the numbers, but word form is when we do, or when we type what we hear. So if I hear the word, the number three, I'm going to type T-H-R-E. But now we're going to be working on expanded form. And that's when we take the standard form and write the non-zero digits as multiplication problems to, to add to the other non-zero digits as multiplication problems. We do this from greatest to least. You must use parentheses around the multiplication problems. If you don't put the parentheses in the right spot, you're going to have a completely new problem. So the first one is in parentheses 3 times 100 plus in parentheses 6 times 10 plus in parentheses 8 times 1. And we'll just take this one parentheses at a time. 3 times 100, well, that's 300. Plus 6 times 10, that's 60. Plus 8 times 1. And that's 8. So what's 300 plus 60 plus 8? Well, that's 368, which you can see on the right. That's the standard form of it. So for each number, we just times it by its place value. So you can see the 8 is in the 1's place value, so we do 8 times 1. 6 is in the 10's place value, so it's 6 times 10. The next one says, in parentheses, 5 times 10, plus in parentheses, 4 times 1, plus in parentheses, 7 times 1 10. Well, 5 times 10 is 50, plus what is 4 times 1? That's 4. So 50 plus 4 is 54, but 7 times 1 10. You're thinking, Miss Kreitz, what does that even mean? I don't know how to do that. Yes, you do. Well, first we need to remember our place value. On the right side of the decimal point, I see the number tenth, or the word tenths. So that is just one tenth. That is what that means. So if I have seven times one tenth, that means the seven goes in the tenths place value. So it's written how we see on the right side, 54 and seven tenths. So let's see if we can go practice this real quick. Uh, if you want to get a piece of paper out, you can. Pause the video if you need to, and then check your answer. So we're going to start with, first I'm going to change up my camera. Here we go. So first we've got, what is the expanded form of 536 and 3 tenths? Well, first I'm going to start with 500. So that's the first number I see five. So we have to put our five times, and then what's the place value? Well, I've got my, the little place value chart at the bottom left if you need it. I know my five is in the hundreds place value. So I do five times 100 plus parentheses three times. And then what is the place value that my three is in? Well, I know that's in the tens place value. So I'm gonna do three times 10 plus six times. What's the place value for our six? That's an easy one. That's in our ones. So six times one plus, and then we have our three, the very last three after the decimal point. So we'll put our parentheses three times. What is the place value? Well, down here we see our three is in the tenths. So when we write this, we're gonna do one dash, or one backslash 10. And that just means one, one tenth. Sometimes you'll see one tenth written like this, but when we do it on our Google Forms, it'll look more like the one we've already written here. Okay, so, Congratulations if you got that correct. If not, we've got more practice problems. Let's keep going. So this one says the expanded form of 3,582 and 19 hundredths. Well, first, I know we have to put this in standard form first. That is going to make it so much easier. So let's do that. 3,000. I know after by 1,000, I'll put a comma. 582. Easy peasy. 582. And 19 hundredths. So I know this is tens, this is hundreds. So that's where my number is going to end. That's how I'll put 19 hundredths. Now let's do the expanded form. We'll do it one number at a time, and let me change my color. We'll go to blue. So first we start with our three, that's right here, times what's the place value? We'll go down here and look if you need to. It's in the thousands. So we'll do 1,000 plus parentheses, now we'll do our five, five times, it's in the hundreds, so we'll do five times 100, plus we do our eight now, eight times 10, because it's in the tens, plus two, that's our next number, 
times one, but we have to keep going. Don't forget these, the last two times parentheses. Now we have to do this one number at a time. We can't do 19 times one over a hundred. That won't work. We do one time or one pull. Yeah, <laughs> right here needs to be a plus. Here we go. I made a mistake. And then when we do this, one will be times one tenth because it's in the tenths column. And our nine here, we'll do again plus nine times. And that's not in our tenths anymore. That's in our hundredths. So we'll put one over a hundred. And that's the expanded form. Easy peasy. It's, it's a, it looks like a lot of work, but it's a lot easier the more you do it. All right. Let's do this one. So I see what is the expanded form of 2,580 and 345 thousandths. Big number, but that's okay. We've got this. This is easy. So we'll start with our two. So parentheses, two times, hmm, well, I know it's 2,000. So that means it's in the thousands column, two times 1,000 plus what place value is our five in? One hundredths plus, then we do our next number, because remember, we're going greatest to least, left to right. Eight times, what's the next place value? Ten. And then our next number is zero, right? We're not going to write that, because if we write zero times one, because it's in the ones place value, what's that going to get me? Yeah, it's going to get me zero. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of space. Don't worry about putting the zero. Now, so after we skip our zero, we're going to go to... 345 thousandths. Well, we start with our three. So come down here, parenthesis three times, what's the place value for our three? Well, I know it's right here. That's our tenths, so one over 10. Plus, now we'll go to our four, so that's easy. Parenthesis four times, look at the place value, one over 100, so it's our hundredths. And then we have one more, plus, oh, I'm gonna go down here. I know it's five, but now I need to remember what is that place value? What's the last one? Come down here and look, it's written right here. One thousandths, so one over a thousand. And that's how you do the expanded form. Um, so you guys are going to be able to go to your Google form. You're gonna practice this a little bit more. It's gonna look just like the pretest you did on Friday. And it's gonna look very similar to what you did yesterday, except you'll have to convert um, standard form to expanded form and word form to expanded form. We always have the Google Meet ready. Um, so just make sure you're looking at the time and get on there if you need any help.